Hi guys, it's Heather. I have so far unsuccessfully managed to make this video twice now, so three times lucky or whatever they say, third time a charm, something like that. Anyway, um, it's this card, so it slides in and it slides out. How cool! One, two. Anyway, that is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. Now, some of you will have kits for it, some of you won't. Um, because you haven't ordered kits from me. That will be why you don't have a kit from me. Okay, so you need to have, you're going to need to have a piece, well, piece of cardstock like this, and you're going to cut a hole in it like that, a slit on both ends. So I thought I should show you how to do that. So this particular card piece measures um, basically A6 size. Uh, I am measuring it to the one and a half centimetre mark and then I'm going from one and a half centimetres all the way down to nine centimetres which is one and a half from the edge and then I move it up by a couple of millimetres and just reverse the whole process that way you end up with this little slitty bit and you just grab your scissors Oh, sorry, probably better do this where you can actually see it. Oh, that was successful. Okay. Uh, obviously, it didn't cut quite as cleanly as I expected it to. Yay! Make sure it's cut. How about that for a tip? Uh, just Okay, we're there. So just trim that last piece off. And... Clean that up afterwards. Love to say it went in the bin, but it really didn't. Okay, now because I've tried to make this video three times, I've ended up um, with different colours than I actually intended to. So you now need a piece of plastic like this. So I used good old Coles large plastic bags, Ziploc bags. You cut off seven centimetres and you cut off the ends of it and it gives you two pieces that look like this. You then take this piece and you tuck it through that side and you tuck it through this side, make sure it's flat. And then you want to use your tear and tape adhesive and find the end. Take a piece of tear and tape and pop that down there. Okay, it's kind of important to make sure when you do this that the flap, the excess flap, is going to be on the outside. So, whoops. Oh, preferably not sticking to you. So that should... Hmm, just gonna, nice thing with this is it does move around quite easily, so if you do it wrong, you can just undo it and redo it. It would be really good if I could actually manage to do it right though, wouldn't it? All right, that looks pretty good to me. Then you just snip off this excess piece. So you're just ending up with a piece like this. Now this ought to just move around in your fingers like this, either side. Okay, so let's just aim for the dustbin this time. Woohoo, I made it. All right. Um, so unfortunately on my Christmas paper has a white background and by this time I had recut it and it ended up with a um, vanilla background. So forget about the fact it's got a vanilla background to it. And what's going to happen is you've got a piece like this. It is the 14.8 um, centimetres and then it's um, by 7 centimetres. So take this and... Just stick that down onto your card. So nice and centrally, trim off the excess. And do the same on the other side. Two. Oh, now, if you've got a repeating pattern, you probably want to make sure that your re repeating pattern is going to be repeated in the same direction. So. Um, there was a reason that I just twisted it round like that. It's just so that um, it can repeat in the same pattern on either side like that. So trim off that piece. Then you've got, 
in this in this particular card you've got excess so I'm gonna snip it off here because I don't really want half a person on there and the end doesn't show anyway so then just pop that down onto there oh, preferably so it's straight you'd think I'd managed to do it straight seeing as there's lines to follow with this particular um, designer series paper there we go and no, that one's pretty good actually. I don't mind that. And, oh. and I've got to the end of my snail. Good job I had a spare one. I was waiting for the end of that. All right, where did I put it? I put it on the second rung up and about there. There we go. And again, just snip off the excess. Oh, and there's that mozzie. Bother. Okay. Now, you want to be able to attach one of these behind and one of these in front. However, you don't want this line here having to go round the bend, as it were, on either side. So what I recommend you do is take your tear and tape and pop some directly over the join. So not only does it strengthen the join, but then it also ensures that the thingo isn't going to go round the edge. You know what I mean by thingo, don't you? Excellent. Oh. And if you're having trouble getting the, um, the backing off, buff it down really well. So then this will now lie directly on top of that. Like that. So then that piece will now pull through like that. <coughs> now if you want the other side to be hidden so like this one here for example has the side hidden but potentially you could have it so it hangs out a bit like this one here so you've got one the two sides that hang out um, so you can either have it so it hangs out like that or you can work out whereabouts it needs to go to and mark oh excuse my arm Mark on the background here, like that. Gee, that was straight, wasn't it? Trim off the excess. It doesn't matter if the pencil mark's there because seriously, it's not gonna show. And then you can actually just go ahead. So you've got that, so it's all the way in. This piece here then find the end. You want to put some tear and tape onto the end of that. As I say, buff it down well and you'll find that it does pull off nice and easily. So because this is going to be sitting behind there, you want it upside down on there. So you pop it upside down like that and it will hide. And then when you pull it, you're going to end up with that. I know, isn't that amazing? <laughs> I can just hear it. <laughs> All right, so you need to, yeah, I know we're going with white and then vanilla. So you need to cover over the top of it. However, you don't want it tight to it. So what you want to do is you want to use some of these. So these long, uh, whatever they're called, something adhesive strips, foam adhesive strips. There we go, foam. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? And you just pop a little bit of that on there and on there. You don't want to go right to the very edge. Uh, how much more am I going to need? About that much. Oh, way too much. There we go. So the other thing you probably want to do before you get to this stage is decorate the front of this. So I have sort of pre-prepared earlier a 4 by 6 piece of um, this, which is really gorgeous on the other side and it's a real shame to cover it up, but I'm going to. And that will fit onto your card front. So again, we're using an A6, uh, yeah, A6, that sounds right, yes. 
No, A, uh, yeah, no, it is A6 because A5 is an entire card. So we've got that, and then we've got Mrs. Santa. We're just going to pop her on the front just to give it a bit of interest. Okay, so this can now sit directly on the front there. So just peel off the excess pieces and pop Mrs. Santa or whoever it is that you've chosen to put on the front of yours onto there. And then the other thing you need is a card. Might help. And with the card, you need to, again, put just um, your foam adhesive strips on. So you got one there. And oh, let's just use a bit of this outside, shall we? Uh, that looks about right. One there, so then that can come off there, and that can come off there. And hopefully it doesn't look too messy around here. And then I found the best way of doing this was to stand your card up and just sort of slide it onto the card. Now it does make your card quite bulky, but how cool is that? I mean, you just, it's worth the bulk, isn't it? Hey, just be able to hold it correctly and then it will just slide in and out like that. And it's fairly smooth and everything. So that is how you make it. And if you have a kit, you'll also be making this one as well. Um, so the instructions are all in your kit and it's just really that mechanism that you want to get the get to grips with. I've used some of the um, gorgeous gold shimmer paint. Oh, it's so lovely, love it to bits. The reason that you've got a, um, a cut out hole in a piece of cardboard is so that you can sponge through it to create that. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, have fun making them. Thanks, bye.